Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it's another one of my uh, videos where I'm, I don't know, thinking through things and, and uh, dealing with things that I deal with and reading the comments, trying to keep my finger on the pulse of the community. And I kind of discovered something else I think we should talk about. And that is, are you feeling abandoned? Are you feeling deserted? Now, before you automatically assume you know what that means, j j the, the, there are a couple of different ways to, to feel abandoned and deserted. And it, uh, uh, you guys like my uh, necklace, my Rebel for Life. Uh, oh, I absolutely love it. Can you guys see that okay? Uh, there are a couple different definitions of this. You can be um, feel abandoned and deserted physically or emotionally uh, or mentally. Um, it doesn't have to be you sleeping in your car or sleeping on the street or sleeping in a homeless shelter for you to feel abandoned and deserted. Uh, I experienced this a little bit uh, with one of my earlier relationships. Um, I almost said my first relationship, but it wasn't my very first um, relationship. But it was the relationship that I, uh, with the guy that I refer to a lot, the one that beat me up both mentally and physically. And uh, at the time of our relationship, he was uh, with another woman. He was cheating. And she would, and this woman would call our house while I was there and talk to him. And I, I didn't have the confidence back then, you know, that I, that I have now. And I didn't know. I mean, I was like, what, 18, 19 years old. I was so young. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to do. I mean, you know, in my, the way I was raised, pretty strict Pentecostal, you know, you didn't get divorced for nothing. You didn't leave your, your partner for nothing. You stuck it out. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that now, uh, because, um, I mean, I think it's great if people can stick things out, but if you've got a cheating spouse um, and and the the person that they're cheating with calls the house, I mean, it's like, oh, I mean, how? <laughs> so I felt so abandoned and deserted because he had, you know, he had, although I wasn't sleeping in the car, I wasn't sleeping in a homeless shelter, I certainly didn't have, my partner had completely just, deserted me, just didn't care how I felt <clears throat> and was completely disrespectful. And I, I have had that happen several times in my life um, where I felt that way. Um, and I bring this up because this might be how you're feeling in your weight loss journey. You might be like, you might be with a partner for years, you know, by, might be with, with somebody who has been with you through thick and thin, maybe years or decades that you've been with this person. And now that you have decided to take your life back and you are starting on a health journey, you are finding that this person has completely abandoned you. Like you are on your own with this. You don't have any support from this person. I have heard horror stories. I should write a book just with the horror stories I've heard from partners who are trying to sabotage the the rebel trying to take their life back, you know, um, and, and the the horrible things that they say and the the facial expressions and the body language and the huffing and the the snide remarks and the rude comments and and like it just doesn't. I mean, remember, only seven percent of all communication is actually verbal. There's a lot going on other than words. And um, boy, it is really hard when your spouse absolutely has deserted you into this lifestyle. And they, they don't give a rat's fanny about you, about your, no, no, not about you, about your health journey, about you losing weight, about you getting off sugar, about you taking control of your life and not being brainwashed by society and not being controlled by what society believes um, and standing up for yourself. And they don't, they just don't care about that aspect. They're not going to change their ways and they're really not going to support you on that. They bring their junk food home. They flaunt it in front of you. They make fun of you. I mean, I'm being pretty extreme, but I think everybody listening right now, you, there is some degree of this that you're, that you've experienced. I mean, some of the lucky ones, some of the lucky ones have got a really supportive spouse and they are in it to win it. Like they, they want to see you happy no matter what. And they are absolutely cheering you on at every turn. But that is just not the case for everybody. And it is a, an awful feeling to be alone. It is an awful feeling to be a deserted, it, to feel deserted. It is an awful feeling to be abandoned by the person that you thought was going to 
you know, supports you in everything. And that's just not the case. And I got to tell you, um, the last thing you want to do is give up on this convicted. You know, you're feeling convicted. You're overweight. You're on loads of medication. You don't feel good. And you're feeling like you, this is going to be the right path, the proper human diet, which is what Code Red follows. Code Red follows the proper human diet. So you are taking your life back by joining, by going this route. And you're, you feel all alone. And that's a horrible feeling. But can I tell you, you're not alone. Can I tell you that there is a huge community of thousands of rebels coaches, staff, leaders, senior leaders, me, Carrie, that will come behind you, that will come around you, and we will support you through all of this. Can I tell you that you've got family who love you, that are cheering you on within our community? Can I tell you that there are people that you've never met before that absolutely love you? Yes. This is the case, and we have seen it all. Believe me, your jerk of a spouse, we've seen it all, all right? We know how to deal with it, and we'll help you through this, but more importantly, we will support you. We will see you through this. We will offer the support, education, information, and love that you desperately need, that you're not getting at home. You might be getting, you might be getting completely you might be getting everybody in your family is against you. We've seen that too. The kids, the cousins, the spouses, the in-laws, everybody is against you on this. Everybody's like, I don't know why you're doing that. Blah, blah, blah. We have seen this before. Don't worry. Even the worst situations we can get you through. Even the worst situations we have helped people through. This is not something we can't handle. We can get you through this and you are strong enough to get through this, but you are not left by yourself. It might feel like you are alone, but we are right here. We are a click away. We are right here supporting you and helping you. You know, we coach 20 hours a day. We have coaches on staff 20 hours a day. We have staff members on ready to go answering help tickets. We have, a, um, we have a lots of resources for you. We do. So I don't want you to think that just because your partner is not with you on this, that you are alone. It does feel like you're being abandoned and deserted. And I know how that feels personally in a lot of different cases, but this does not have to be your situation as you walk through your health journey. Click the link below, join us, and let me show you. There's a whole other world out there of people who love you. Don't, don't let yourself be alone, okay? We got your back.